had no idea right. what was going on. <laughs> but the more he was yelling, the less I was getting beaten up. And within just a few moments, the beating stopped. And they all moved away. It was like the parting of the Red Sea. Like, like the waters just like all, all these floods of bodies just moved away. And I'm on the ground. And uh, you, you believe it or not, you know those cartoons where the character gets hit and it looks like uh, there's little yeah, birds. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Bird. Woo, woo, woo. I, yeah. I think I saw those birds that day. Um, and uh, I, I took me a while to focus, to get my mind focused and my eyes focused. And I was I looking for, uh, I, I, I was bruised, I was battered, and I was looking for the guy who had called my name. And I see this one cadet and he's walking along and he's got a smile on his face. And, and he walks up to me and uh, he says, Mr. Paul. And I recognized him. He was one of my students from a few weeks earlier that I had taught. Yeah. And he had taken a particular interest in me, would have coffee with me. I, I, he was one of the terrorists. He was one of the organizers of this attack and didn't realize that I was going to be the one attacked. So he Damn, put a stop. The, the